Project 82 is LED color spectrum. This and the next four projects are going to focus on viewing and comparing the different colors produced by the color organ with the brightness of the white LED. As you can see, the LED, white LED is connected. And unlike the white LED on the color organ, this is a pure white LED. If you look carefully, you notice all the colors of the rainbow. Most notably, red, yellow, green, and blue. Combining all colors will make white. Unlike the white LED on the color organ, in which you can only see green, blue, and red, because the organ, the LED there, is actually three separate LEDs of those colors. Now we are going to move the two snap wire, and now let's view the color LED, which is changing colors. Now this is going to be interesting. Although it happens very fast, you might be able to catch a glimpse of the separate colors used to produce the main ones. Like example, in the case of purple, you'll notice blue and red. Or yellow with yellow, red and green. We will now move the two snap wire over to red. Light scatters. And it, the case will be similar with green and blue. And you can compare all these colors to the white LED. When you see the primary colors, red, green, and blue, you do not see any additional colors in the scattered light. Project 83 is LED color spectrum 2. We're going to use the same circuit as an 82, except we will remove the double snap from the white LED and place two of these wires between points R and R and G and G. We will turn on the slide switch and now we have a yellowish LED even if though it may appear red to the camera and we are going to view the color spectrum from different angles. Now unfortunately my camera isn't picking this up well but you see you'll see red and green when you view it with your eyes and you can scatter the particles out and see the primary colors that make yellow easier. More red and green. I wish it was more clear, but you kind of get the idea. And now we can move the two snaps, the, one of the two snap wires, over to the right, to these points, B and B. And now we have purple. What pattern do you see, patterns do you see now? Once again, it's very glary, but you'll be able to see red and blue. And you can see those two colors a bit easier from this angle. And lastly, we will move this double snap wire to points G and G. And now we have cyan. I'm sorry that this light is very bright. It may be hard to see, but we are combining green and blue. 
for each of the combinations that we demonstrated here, the color spectrum should be mostly light of the two individual colors you are combining. With your eyes, you can easily see green and blue, but with the camera, you can't. 84 is color spectrum, LED color spectrum 3. We are going to place double snap wires across points R and R, G and G, and B and B, and turn on the slide switch. Now, even though the LED appears purple to the camera, it's supposed to be all white because you are combining all colors and then we can view it through the prismatic film. And you'll see all three primary colors that combine to make white, red, green, and blue. And then we are, will take away all these connections and then light up the main white LED. And you, you and you should comp and then you'll will compare the spectrum from the solid white LED to the white LED on the color or again made from three separate LEDs that are on at the same time. And the spectrum will not vary as much with the viewing angle because this is a single LED. It'll vary more with the color or again. LED. In addition, the what this LED is brighter. Project 85 LED color spectrum 4 is going to be a lot more complicated because we are now going to view the different combinations from the previous three projects using these three color filters. One is blue, one is another is green, and the third is red. We are first going to begin with the white LED, and since the law is involved, I'm going to go as quickly as possible. We will see how the white LED looks when viewed through the different filters. You're going to see it as red with the red filter. You're going to see it as blue with the blue filter, and you will see it as green with the green filter. We will now move over to the uh, red LED. The green uh, filter seems to block out a lot of the light, but you still see it as red. The blue filter and red filter seem to produce the same result. Now we will do the green LED, green filter, putting the red filter over the green LED produces a yellowish light since green and blue, I mean green and red make yellow. And now you might see a little bit of a cyan color with the blue filter because those two colors make cyan. Now we will do blue, red. You see like a purplish color since green, I mean blue and red make purple. Cyan and plain blue. And now we will do cyan. Kind of like a, another cyan color. Kind of see two dual blue and green lights. It's easier to see the two individual blue and green LEDs in the color or again with the green filter. And you see more purple now. And then you also see red and blue. And now let's do purple, purple and red. You see mostly red. And you can also see the blue and green LEDs a little bit easier when you use the filters because they don't scatter the light as much. This is blue, I mean green. And then we have blue. Now we will do the white LED. red, blue, and green. And now we can 
put all three filters together and we will see that the light is mostly blocked even though you might be able to see some of it and you can see the and if you look carefully you might be able to and definitely with your eyes you might be able to see the blue red and green LEDs that produce white that combine to produce white Now we can go back to the white LED and use the combination filters. When we hold the red and blue ones together, we see purple. The red and green ones, we see cyan. And then the green and red ones, we see yellow. So this is another easy way of producing different colors if you only have the white LED. Now the red filter will pass a little of the green light, the blue filter will pass a little of the green light, and the green filter will pass a little of the green and blue light because green light is in between red and blue in the color spectrum and these filters are not perfect. If you want to know more about the color, about the color spectrum, you can go to page 13 in this manual. 86 LED color spectrum 5 requires us to use the fiber optic cable with the black holder. And we will repeat project 82. And then we will view the other end of the cable. Now this might be tricky because we have to use the prismatic film right here and also view it in a dark room. We will see what the light looks like through the end of this. So we will turn on the LED and now we have white light. You see the individual colors that co combine to make white with the white LED. Green, yellow, red, and blue. You might also perceive purple. At least that's what the camera does. With your eyes you just see the four colors I told you about. Now we will move the double snap wire over to the color LED and also move the fiber optic cable. And as the colors change, you can see the primary colors that combine to form the secondary ones. And I have mentioned you, them to you in previous projects. So I would refer to them if you want to know what colors make which. Now we will move over to the red LED. And you just see red particles. green LED and blue LED project 87 is blinking beeping for this project we will use the following circuit which includes the speaker and the color LED. We will turn on the slide switch and the color LED changes colors and a weird sound is heard. Might sound like an alien spaceship. And this is because the color LED which I explained before has a micro circuit change, which that changes the light colors but as it does so the current it also controls the current through the rest of the circuit and the MPN transistor is amplifying the current to control the speaker project 88 is blinking blinking we will use the same circuit, but replace the speaker with the red LED. 
Now when we turn on the slide switch, the color LED blinks, as, at, but the red LED does as well. That's because the color LED is controlling the current through the circuit. And so it's going to control how the red LED works as well. They change in sync with each other. Project 89 is blinking control. The principle of this project is very similar to 88, but we are using this larger circuit and the white LED instead of the red one. When we turn on the switch, the color LED controls the blinking of the white one. Just like how it was controlling the red LED in the previous project. The color LED will also be brighter than in the previous circuit. It was dimmer. So that's one difference between the two projects. But we will now remove the color LED and look what happens. And if we were to place, like, let's say the red LED in its place, the white LED will not blink because the red LED does not control the white one. 9D is blinking control beeping. We replace the white LED with the speaker, and when we turn on the slide switch, we hear weird sounds. It's not very loud, so I have to put the camera right up to the speaker in order to hear. Like in Project 87, the color LED is controlling the current through the circuit, and the MPN transistor amplifies it so it can be heard through the speaker. Project 91 is triple blinker. Using the following circuit, we are going to use all three LEDs, the color red and white LEDs, and turn on the slide switch. Watch what happens. Although it may be hard to notice, all three LEDs are blinking And the effect is least notable in the red LED, even though it changes in brightness and flashes. If I zoom in very close to it, then you might notice it better, or probably not. But the color LED is controlling the current through the other two ones. If we were to remove the color LED, the other LEDs will not blink.